In today's video, I'm going to talk about how the coronavirus 2 gets into our bodies and some of the possible targets for vaccine development and treatment. First, let's clear up some of the terminology. Coronavirus 2 is also known as SARS-CoV-2. SARS stands for Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome and CoV stands for coronavirus. COVID-19, on the other hand, is the disease that is caused by the virus. Coronavirus 2 gets transmitted through respiratory droplets of mucus and saliva from an infected to an uninfected person. In most cases, the virus enters through the mouth and nose. More recently though, eye-related symptoms in infected people have been reported, which suggest that the virus can enter through the eyes, but these cases seem to be pretty rare. I'll describe the structure first before we dive into how it gets into the lung cells. Like other coronaviruses, including the ones that cause SARS and MERS, coronavirus 2 gets its name from the crown-like spike proteins sticking up from its surface. Spike proteins are what latch onto the host cells in the body. The RNA is where the virus encodes all of its genetic instructions that make up the virus and allow it to reproduce once inside of a host cell. The weak spot of the virus is its surrounding layer of oily lipid molecules, which can be easily pulled apart with 20 seconds of hand washing with soap or 30 seconds of using hand sanitizer. So, how does the virus enter a cell in our bodies? Understanding how the virus enters a cell is very important to all the studies throughout the world right now, aiming to develop treatment or vaccines for COVID-19. Spike proteins on the surface of the coronavirus bind to ACE2 receptors that live on the surface of the target host cell. TMPRSS2 is an enzyme that breaks down spike proteins and binds to and cleaves the ACE2 receptor. Through this process, the spike protein on the coronavirus gets activated. Then, the cleaved ACE2 and activated spike protein allow the virus to enter the cell through what is known as endocytosis. Once in the cell, the RNA enters the host cell to be copied, producing millions of viruses that are then carried to the outside of the cell to infect nearby cells or escape the lungs through coughing or sneezing. Possible options for vaccines and treatment are one, to block TMPRSS2 activity, two, block the ACE2 receptor, and three, Create competition with membrane-bound ACE2 receptors by delivering excessive soluble or circulating ACE2 to intercept the virus before it attacks the cell. Why does the virus target the lungs? The virus is actually really picky as to which cells it targets, since they must both have the ACE2 receptor and the TMPRSS2 enzyme. There are only a few of these cell types in the body, and one place they live is in the respiratory tract. These cells usually have hair-like projections called cilia that typically have the job of sweeping mucus and bacteria out of the lungs. When the virus enters these cells, the cilia can no longer function correctly and a buildup of debris and fluid occurs. In most cases, the immune system can fight off the virus. But in more severe cases, the immune system can overreact and start attacking its own cells. The buildup of debris and fluid can then end up drowning some of the lung air sacs, preventing them from delivering oxygen and could lead to pneumonia and death. What is being done to develop a vaccine or treatment? Currently, there are some experimental treatments, but no vaccine has been developed. One option that is being explored is to inject what is called convalescent sera or plasma therapy as a vaccine or treatment. The idea is that someone who is infected with the virus and then recovers has blood taken and screened for antibodies. Blood serum containing the antibodies could be administered as a vaccine to prevent infection or as a treatment to reduce symptoms and death in people who are already infected. Basically, the antibody works by competing with the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein to bind to the ACE2 receptor. Plasma therapy has already been tested in five patients on ventilators and showed some promising results, but more studies are needed. The use of hydroxychloroquine for the treatment of COVID-19 is also under investigation and a clinical trial for this drug is currently underway. The way this drug is thought to work is by suppressing PCOM, which prevents the endocytosis of SARS-CoV-2.
hope you learned something today about how SARS-CoV-2 enters the body and the possibilities for treatment. I've made sure that everything in this video is backed up by science and included the bibliography here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please write them in the comments section below, and I'd be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching.